Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft. I appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us. This is your good old host, Patrick. And I gotta say, I've got something really cool I want to show you today. Today we're going to sync up our Pixelcade marquee right there. Right now we have it on our Legends Ultimate. We're gonna sync it up and connect it to our Raspberry Pi device, our Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running RetroPie. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Okay guys, welcome back. Now it's important to note that when it comes to the Pixelcade, if you want to connect it uh, with your RetroPie, uh, again, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is recommended. The Raspberry Pi 4 is not yet supported, but Al is working on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an awesome image called the Legendary Arcade RetroPie 64 gigabytes image. In order to keep myself out of trouble, I can't tell you where I got it, but don't you be an arcade punk on me! You'll figure out where to find it. And also, I'm going to post a link with all the steps you need to follow in the video description below. However, I'm just going to give you a visual walkthrough right now. So let's get to it. I'm so excited! You gotta admit, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous marquee hanging above the At Games Legends Ultimate. She's so pretty! But we want to make sure that this thing is linked up to our Raspberry Pi. That is the mission at hand. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to get the back of the cabinet off, right? You'll notice that I've also drilled holes to run wires through. This is, of course, because I have my capture card wires running through here, as well as I have extra holes in case I need them to permanently install, let's say, a Raspberry Pi in the back of the cabinet. I'm not going to permanently install it yet. When you take a look at the inside, you'll notice that Al did a fantastic job putting this thing together. Highly recommend just ordering it pre-assembled. You gotta first switch this from Bluetooth to USB just by flicking the switch. So we're gonna do that now. And then you'll notice in the USB port, we have the uh, we have the Bluetooth dongle. We need to take that out because we no longer want to Bluetooth and change the marquee via our phone. We wanna take instead the USB 2.0 cable that came with the kit. We wanna plug that in run that through the wires, run that wire through the holes that we installed on the back of the cabinet. And you'll notice I now have it sticking out the side and I'm going to plug it in the Raspberry Pi. Or the, uh, Keep in mind guys, this is not a permanent, permanent setup. This is just to get going. At this point, go ahead and get your HDMI cable plugged in. Go ahead and set up the OTG. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that your buttons are mapped and also make sure that your Raspberry Pi is connected to your Wi-Fi. Don't forget to do that as well. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to capture the screen from the legend so you can see what's going on. We've now flipped back over and we are on our Raspberry Pi on the At Games Legends Ultimate. You want to press F4. Got to get to that command line. Now, when you're at the command line, there is this awesome, awesome script that Al came up with. Now, this will be in the in the video description. It's right here as well on the screen in case you want to take a screenshot, as well as there will be a link to the instructions on his website to get this going. Once you enter the script, you just let it run, baby. Just let it ride. You go ahead and you're going to hit yes right here, and it's going to do its thing, and it's so cool. Now, the script takes about three or four minutes to run, but we're going to kind of skip ahead. That way you guys don't have to watch all this boring stuff. When you get to the end, it's going to say, is 1941 displaying on the Pixelcade marquee? And if it is, you'll know that you're in a good spot, that everything worked out correctly. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to reboot now? Just click yes and go ahead and reboot and get in back into Emulation Station. And at this point, guys, you're pretty much done. That's right. It's that simple. All you got to do is run that script. Now, as we switch through here, you'll notice that although this image is compatible with his Pixelcade marquee, if 
a marquee image graphic is not already loaded, it'll just say MAME or it'll say Capcom or something of that nature. Um, but pretty much I would say about at least two thirds of the marquees are loaded. And as you kind of switch from game to game, the marquee will switch as well as when you're in the menus as well as when you're in the game. Al did tell me he is working on getting all the missing images added to this particular uh, legendary arcade image. Uh, he's going to get it all synced up, anything that's missing. That way, uh, the ones that are missing will get added. So that's pretty cool. Appreciate him doing that extra work. It's so awesome when you're flipping through the menus and you see that the marquee changes as well as when you're playing the games. I absolutely love it. Her in the face. This is a fantastic, fantastic marquee. Albeit, though, guys, it is quite expensive. Let's just kind of flip through here and you'll see Dragon Ball. You'll see Dunk Mania. Yes, it says MAME if there's one that's missing. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> Cutie. They're not all in there. But we got about two-thirds of them, and the ones that are in there look great. I can't wait until all the missing ones get added once again. And I don't know, just call me nuts, but when I'm sitting here and I'm playing, like, Golden Axe, and I see this beautiful Golden Axe LED marquee hanging above my head, it just, it, it just adds to the experience. Retro Pie, baby! As you can see, guys, the Pixelcade marquee has so many fantastic marquees, and more and more are going to be added as soon as Al gets to them and uh, they just they look fantastic when you're playing on the machine and uh, the link to the website as well as how to order will be in the video description below uh, that way you can uh, get your hands on one of these bad boys now note the at games legends ultimate does retail for either two hundred fifty nine dollars if you would want to order it disassembled and put it together yourself or you can get it for $299, which is fully assembled. That is what I did. I did pay full price for my marquee. Um, however, as you guys know, my goal always is to try and help the community the best I can, help you guys save a few bucks. So just a heads up, if you guys head on over to place an order for an At Games Legends Ultimate Pixelcade Marquee, and if you guys use coupon code PDUBS, you'll save 10% off your orders that's right 10 percent off your orders thanks so much al for setting that up for watchers of the channel now please note this coupon code is only good for up to 15 total marquees and then this coupon code is going to expire so if you guys are planning on getting one of those and want to save a few bucks make sure you use that coupon code before it's uh the 15 uses are used up you see, it's pretty awesome. I love having this digital LED marquee above my At Games Legends Ultimate, and with it synced now to my Raspberry Pi, now it's totally cool. As I uh, switch games or as I play games, the marquee automatically flips the match. I think it looks great. Hopefully, 15 of you will place an order and get your At Games Legends Ultimate marquee from Pixelcade, and hopefully you'll use that discount code and save 10% uh, before all the uses are used up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, consider subscribing. Check out the playlists on the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Click that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any other future content. As always, I really, really appreciate your guys' support and hanging out upstairs with us. Got some awesome, awesome stuff coming out in the next couple of weeks. I can't wait to show you guys this stuff, and I hope you'll come along for the ride. Also, don't forget to tune into The Loft Report Live, your arcade and gaming podcast show. We got a brand new episode tomorrow you don't want to miss. It's a Nintendo Pate! Hope you guys have a great night!